All right, one second, one second, one second. All right, what everybody watching this video in the future? This is chapter one of Yoga for Men by Franklin, well, Frank Rudolph Yonk. Uh, I already read the introduction, so now I'm about to read the first chapter for this one. Uh, hopefully y'all like it, like, comment, subscribe, and y'all still tuning in, for real. So, yeah. Uh, one second while I go grab some earphones. Well, fix my, well, I my earphones up. So let me get to this real quick and we can get right into it. All right, what yoga can do for a man, how to conquer the four horsemen of Mastaba, that disease that cripple you, age you, and kill you prematurely. The four deadly horsemen of Mastaba, the four horsemen of early grave are the constant down pull of gravity, faulty posture, weight bearing and ground resistance were it not for the body traumas to which these four horsemen subject you all your life you will conserve a great uh such a great amount of energy daily and hourly that you will be practic practically immune to disease you will age much lower and you will look younger and live considerably longer such a state that is possibly only possible only in something like the spirit state or in the state which absolutely no energy is expanded to remain alive, no energy even to breathe, much less to digest food and circulate blood, transmit nerve messages or commands, or to get rid of any waste, any body waste. Indeed, no energy even look to hear, touch, swallow, cough, adjust to change the temperature, endure pain, grow hair, as adjust to change the temperature, endure pain, oh girl, I already said that. As a matter of fact, not even energy to think, harbor emotions, dream, desire, reproduce, repair tissue, and the rest of the infinite number of physiological activities which your body functions, maintains. All your body functions in brief will have to come to a halt, and your tissues would have remained lifeless, but super alive in another plane of existence. The knowledgeable yogi, however, can prolong his life to an almost unbelievable age. He can resist and overcome disease with seemingly miraculous ease. He possesses something that to akin to limitless energy, both mental and physical. He can sit naked on ice in freezing weather and perspire. And there's a mere sampling of astounding achievement which can be bring about with his body. How can he do this? He can do it because he primarily carries, preserved within his mind and body, a great amount of energy which regularly saves by lessening considerably the effects on himself of the body traumas of the four horsemen, the monster I previously described. Your first goal then is to minimize as much as possible ceaseless drain of your body and relentless body traumas of the four horsemen of the Mastaba. Any posture which you assume, in fact, drains your energy because it compels you to overcome the constant downpull of gravity, if nothing else. Faulty posture through drains your energy fast, still faster because it displaces the center of gravity of your body from its best balance point to a less balanced point. Consequently, your joints are subjected to abnormal wear and tear every time you make a new move and they're supporting more muscles are thrown into abnormal spasms in order to support the muscles who are thrown into thrown into abnormal spasm in order to balance your un your now unbalanced body against the pull of gravity your imbalanced body besides the increased amount of energy which your body has to waste resisting the pull of gravity the push of weight bearing and the jarring of the ground below correct posture therefore Conserve your body energy constantly and reduce the ceaseless drain on your body. And the four horsemen of the Mastaba, a long lasting youth and long life for the right reason, are absolutely dependent upon how much you lessen the daily traumas of gravity, faulty posture, weight bearing, and the ground is on you. Benefits of freeing yourself enough from the downpool of the gravity alone. If you could just free yourself enough from the downpool of gravity alone, leaving this pulling on effect on 
like, leaving its pull on you only strong enough to keep your body trapped to the earth, but to just subject you to at least the body traumas you can live much longer and your joints won't suffer from the wear and tear afflictions of old age and excessive use, such as arthritis. You should not sprain a joint or break a bone. You will suffer from no infectious diseases because your physiological resistance will be omnipotent against all attacks of diseases. Your body organs would require hardly any nutrition and would exist many times longer. You will be practically tireless regardless of effort, and that's hardly scraping the surface of how different your life will be. But since you cannot lessen the relentless downfall of gravity, yoga has devised ways to counteract this insidious influence on your body to a gratifying degree. Wrong foods, psychological traumas, and practically every other assault against your body and mind would affect you little if you can only say within the vast amount of energy you waste trying to combat the downfall of gravity every second of your life. You will then most clear appropriate the sprint I mean, that's probably the sprint spirit, state of immortality, agelessness, healthfulness, and you will require hardly any food for existence. Your mind will feel so remarkably refreshed constantly that it could think, remember, and attain mental goals with a, f a facility which you hardly consider possible now. The constant threat of unsuspected undermining subclinical state which can exist inside of you. Due to the merciless pounding of the four horsemen of the Mastava, your body throughout your life, you are never the person you might were, you might be, for the downpull of gravity, much less, and especially if you were strong enough to keep you attracted to the earth, as a result you degenerate into a battered victim of body trauma, and grow steadily worse within the years, long before you can experience obvious pain or exhibit diagnostic symptoms. Before the limits of the normal health and outright disease, in fact, there is a, in fact, there exists a wide expanse of so-called well enough health states which range from you're not feeling at your very best to you feeling at the borderline being sick. Throughout the health range, you are not ill enough to consult a physician. You are still in a subclinical state. Indeed, even though you continue to be battered and glow and grow battered and grow steadily worse under the relentless pounding of the four body traumas over the years, you might never experience an obvious pain or exhibit any diagnostic symptoms because of it. Within you, however, there's a steadily growing discord between your mind and body. For your battered body and is unable to drive home forcibly enough to your mind how badly it really need, feels because your mind instinctively avoids sensitizing itself to their, to the unpleasant by inhibiting the reaction to it. Your mind, however, cannot inhibit indefinitely to reaction to that ceases the flow of messages to vague pains general from general I just messed up where I was at general discomforts with your body flashes to. Thus, it tries to escape from the impasses by venting its annoyance outside your body, such as an assuming unpleasant attitudes, unexplainable hostility to others, pessimism, groundless fears, anxieties, uh, hypochondria, and, account of, and unaccountable behavior. Physicians of no healing arts have given this ex extensive, per uh, perplexing, indefiable attitude of the most normal patients, enough to study and have depended on too much upon the x-ray, the laboratory analysis, and the psychiatric test for the final word about the seamlessly insignificant complaint, complaints, insignificant complaints of the patient. They have added to their diagnosis the sub-diagnosis of the unfelt but cumulative effect of the steady pattern of the four horsemen of the Mastaba. Yoga for men has taken that step for the first time and shows you how the yoga how the yogis prepare themselves to combat and neutralize as much as possible. The relentless crippling of the horsemen of the Mastaba therefore saves themselves a vast amount of energy with their bodies regularly wasted. attempt to resist them. The yogis, for that reason, look younger, grow powerful, more easily retain their sex potency, keep their mind sharper, live surprisingly longer. The following cases, history reveals how others, just like you, have altered their lives in a very short time with scientifically perfected yoga secrets, how you can do like why or much more. 
and then these next couple parts, I'm not gonna read them, but they basically just talking about they're just giving real life examples of how people use these uh, yogi methods and secrets to help improve their own life. Uh, I'm definitely, as I read through this book, and see the I, like before I even decided to read this book, I took a screenshot of like all of the yoga poses. And I've been practicing some of them. I thought of these poses at first, like, because a lot of them, if you read, I'm going to show the pictures and, and, like, just, you know, show the pictures on here as well. So you see the yoga poses and how they, like, the instructions for them. Uh, I've done, like, two of them, and and I like the poses. Like I said, it helps. It's, it's very relaxing to your body. It helps stretch your body a lot and very good. Uh, that's one thing I can say. Uh, but they're very, uh, like I said, they're very unorthodox. I've never seen anybody stretching like this. So um, I believe they work, and I'm going to prove that they work. Like I said, I'm going to prove them. And I'm gonna, uh, also, like I said, with these type of Franklin uh, or Frank Rudolph Young books, I'm going to, of course, I'm going to like, drop an actual full video on them, speaking about my experiences with them, and actually like going into better detail. I think I just want to show myself reading these books and just, you know, you know, getting people into them and stuff like that. Okay, you know, because I think that a lot of people don't really want to read books nowadays. I know that I don't, if I'm being honest. I'm using this for a way to really help me read these books and, you know, uh, attain this knowledge. So, yeah. Uh, so, well, yeah, that was basically the end of that chapter. It was just speaking about people's experiences with it. Uh, if I'm being honest, I'm probably not going to read that because, uh, I mean, it's all to pull you in. But, I mean, like I said, I'm going to do the work anyway. I got it. I'm doing it for this channel, so yeah. Uh, if y'all like the uh, live stream, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next chapter. Uh, I'm probably gonna do another book. I think I'm gonna do Psycho Mancy uh, by Frank Rudolph Young, and that's just the power of the ESP control. Uh, and I actually been doing a lot of those methods on there, uh, and also just some energy work I have been doing, which I'm gonna gain more control over my brain. I'm gonna have more to say about that. So, and also when I get to the chapters of the, of the poses I've done, I got more, uh, I got more uh, experience with that. So I'm gonna be giving more of my own personal, uh, not by the anecdote, my own personal experiences with some of the methods I use in this book with helping and just pushing my uh, body forward. So yeah, if y'all like the video, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see y'all later. Thank you.